Hey guys, welcome back to Honest Try TV. Today I'll be making souvlaki marinated salmon with Greek orzo salad from Gobble. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below. I'm trying to figure out how to get into this. <laughs> like, where's the perforation? And there will be a um, referral code for Gobble down below in the description box if you're interested in checking them out for yourselves. All right, let's go. A few ingredients hopefully means very quick preparation. Um, we need to cut our toy box cherry tomatoes in half. Let me break out a cutting board here. That's pretty. All right, slice our Persian cucumber lengthwise in half and then into thin half moons. Okay, that's good. Um, and then we're going to chop our red onions into small pieces. Oh, here we go. My red onions. Oh, we're going to actually combine these. So let me go ahead and get a bowl. So let's see, we've got our cucumber, tomatoes, Trash. Tomatoes gonna go in. All right, so this is going into right. So there, I think that's enough. Toss the rest of these away. Okay. Then we're going to place our toasted orzo pasta into a microwave safe bowl. Okay. And cover with a damp paper towel and microwave for. Oh, what? What's happening? Oh, that's interesting. It's open here on the side. Didn't realize that. Okay. So whatever. Okay. Microwave for 30 seconds. Then we are also going to add to this bowl our Kalamata olives which are hopefully pitted, hopefully pitted. I'm just gonna chop these up because Jason and I aren't huge fans of olives. We'll eat them, but not giant chunks of olives. Must be small. Maybe I won't use all of them. Maybe I'll only use half since Jason doesn't really like them that much. I won't use these though. Um, feta and half of the souvlaki marinade. Here's our Greek feta cheese. Oh, this is going to be quick, fast, and easy, honestly. I'm very proud of this. I'm not trying to get it all over my hands right now. All right, feta. Lucky marinade. I'm assuming this is it. It's not identified, but we don't have anything else. So common sense says this must be it. All right, so I'm going to use half of this. That looks about right ish. Sure. And we're also going to add our toasted orzo pasta. And we're going to. Combine and season. So here's our pasta. 
Fish off the microwave. Let me grab a spoon. That's how we're looking. Break it up a little bit before I toss it in there. So it's stuck together in little lumps. There we go. All right, so now we're going to combine. The pasta salad. Okay, so let me just try it and see if we need to season. It's fine. I could use some pepper. Okay, that's done. Moving on. We need to towel dry our salmon fillets. Season both sides with salt and pepper. And then we're going to place a saute pan on the stove top with one to two tablespoons of cooking oil. Second, let me go ahead and get my uh, saute pan going. So that's good to go. I'm gonna let my pan heat for another couple seconds. Um, so we need to have it on medium high. I think I've got it too low actually. We add our fish, we're gonna go skin side down. We're gonna leave it there for three minutes before flipping over and cooking for another four. And then we will pour the remaining marinade over the salmon fillets, coat them and then we'll be ready to serve. One other thing, this particular recipe allows for uh, other protein choices. So if you wanted, you could have gone with the skinless chicken breasts or the Mount Cook King salmon fillets. So yeah, I just went with the traditional salmon and uh, salmon fillets and so far so good. The Pasta salad portion is really good. I'm sorry, the orzo, the Greek orzo salad is really good. It tasted pretty good. So I think we should be about ready. So I'm gonna bring you on over here. It's my clean hand. So you can see the action. Add these skin side down to our pan here. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer for three minutes and then we'll be back to flip. Okay, I'm flipping over our salmon. Okay, and now we'll go for four minutes on this side. Okay, and we're back. So for the final step, I need to turn off the heat and my cup. And we're going to pour the remaining two rocky marinade over the salmon fillets, gently swirling the pan to evenly coat the fish. So right, here we go. That's the remainder of it. Also, if you follow these instructions, it'll get you to a medium doneness. Ah! I'm getting top. Sear them on the side. I like my salmon seared on the side. And we're done, guys. This is taking me roughly 20 minutes to prepare. It's been very easy and straightforward. Probably would have gone faster if I wasn't making this video. So, this is definitely probably a 15 minute uh, recipe from Gobble. 15, 20 minutes. Alright, so we're done. I'm going to go ahead and Add these to the bowl. I've already um, put the orzo salad in bowls, so I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this right on top. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave any comments, questions, recommendations, 
down below. There will be a referral code for um, Gobble in the description box if you're interested in checking them out for yourselves. But here is the finished product. All right. It's our little sexy 360. <laughs> It looks great. This one is actually Jason's. I'm going to try this one. Slightly small. And um, let's see how it turned out. Very good. The skin came out super crunchy, which I love. I love crunchy salmon skin. It's the best. This is really good and flavorful. I love it. Mm hmm. Mmm. I love it. I would absolutely order it again. I give it a 9 out of 10. Freaking phenomenal. I love it. So thanks so much for joining us, guys. This has been the souvlaki marinated salmon with Greek orzo salad from Gobble. And yeah, this is definitely a win for me. See you next time on Honest Try TV.